Hi everyone, I hope you're all well. So much has happened since we've last spoken that I think I just need to sort of hit a reset button and acknowledge what is going on so that we can move past it. That's what I'm gonna do. We are moving. It's big news. So my husband and I have lived in this house for the last six years. We absolutely love it, but we have been looking for a space that has some things that this house just doesn't accommodate for a little while. We've actually been hunting for a house since May of 2020. It's now March of 2021. So it has been a long journey to finding this house, but we are absolutely in love with it. It checks all of our boxes. We are super excited. We should have keys in hand in the next two days. So we are super pumped about that. And in the meantime, we're in a little bit of a frenzy over here at the house right now. I started decluttering things because we're moving, but also because I've just sort of let things accumulate for the last year. I think not being able to go out and not being able to sort of even recycle things the way we used to. Our specialty recycling center has been closed until I think just this past week. So now we can get some of the things that we've been accumulating and hanging on to out of the house, which is perfect timing because we need to move anyway. So I started decluttering last weekend and did a little bit yesterday as well. I've already tackled our bathroom, our bedroom, the laundry closet, our pantry, most of our kitchen, but there's still some stuff left to do. And we have a photographer coming bright and early tomorrow to photograph this house. And so in addition to decluttering, we're also cleaning and just sort of tucking things away for the sake of photographs. I can show you what's going on right now. So this is the state of our house currently. We are doing laundry. This is the kitchen. Like I said, I've already decluttered it, but there's still some things that we need to clear from the countertops for the photographer. They told us not to have anything if it wasn't decorative on the countertop. So we're going to remove basically all of this. I am also going to take down my dry erase board that I am very much in the process of using just so it will photograph better. And then in the living room, there's not a whole lot to do, but we will tidy up and clean things. Ah, the Tower of Shame. So it is now March. This is clearly from Christmas, but we've been hanging on to this scratchy because the cats absolutely love it. And we just thought, well, when we move, we can get rid of it. And it is finally time for that. So this can go. And we have a few more things to straighten before the photographer gets here. Greetings from my car. We are picking up some coffees while the photographer does his thing. I actually brought my laptop with me because I have a meeting coming up in a few minutes. I might take it from my car if he still needs more time. I don't know why I didn't take today off. This would be ideal time to take off since we're so preoccupied with home buying and whatnot, but I didn't, so we'll see how this goes. We actually have the walkthrough of the house this evening. The seller's supposed to be out. It's supposed to be clean, but if he's moving as frantically as we are beginning to move, then I don't have really high hopes, but we should be able to clean it ourselves or get it cleaned before moving. Coffee's coming back. Bye. My house will never be this clean again. Just wanted to show you what it looks like. before we touch it again. I'm going to miss this place. We just finished the walkthrough of our house. What did you think of it? It was great. It was great. It's 
great. It was huge. It is way more house than we need. We have no idea how much, how we're going to fill it. Oh, that's our bubs. We have no idea how we're going to fill it, but we are super excited. Uh, we need to get a new refrigerator and washer and dryer. So we're going to mask up and go take a look at those. There's so much that we want to do in this house. There's a lot that we want to change too. So even though we love parts of it, I think it will feel more and more like home as we sort of put our own stamp on it. Thank you. all Good morning. Sorry for not being able to finish a thought earlier. We are stressed out and running on very little sleep, so I wasn't able to put two thoughts together, but we are so close to this house being ours. We are currently on our way to the title company. Babe, how do you feel? Tired. Tired. I am also tired. We got very little sleep last night, but happy and overwhelmed and excited. All in a good way, though. We're here, wish us luck. Guess where I am? We're in our new house. It's so amazing. Oh, you don't wanna be on camera. Go back there. It's so, there's so much space. I have an office now. I have an office. This is what will be my office down here on our ground floor. Love the trim. Love the floors. We're probably actually going to be updating some of this just to tune it a little bit more to our style, but so much space. We have a dining room, which I'm very excited about. We're going to host dinner parties. This is our master bedroom. Carpet is going to have to go. I guess the whole flooring situation is um, on our list of, of things to have replaced, but we absolutely love the layout of this house and how much light it gets. Master bathroom is kind of top priority, but we have a double sink. We've never had a double sink. We always fight over one sink. So many possibilities. There are two closets in here. We're gonna have to talk about and figure out a closet solution later. On this one, which I thought was smaller, but it actually kind of uses the space a little bit better. I'm not a fan of, I'm a fan of squares and rectangles and right angles, but there are a lot of weird 45 cuts in this house that I eventually want to be able to correct and straighten out, but we don't know what to do with ourselves. We're going to start cleaning and we've already brought in several things from our house. We just packed up our cars and drove everything out here. So a lot of cleaning supplies and a lot of things that we aren't going to need to use in the next week or so before we move. I've actually made an inventory, which I will drop right here. Okay, fellow spreadsheet nerds, get ready to be impressed. This is an inventory I am making of all of the rooms in our current house, everything we own, and then where it will be going in the new house. I'm also taking some notes over here and indicating if there are things that we might uh, declutter, get rid of before we move. This is so satisfying. And we are using that to help figure out what to move and keep things organized and not lost. But yeah, so happy. Oh my God. I can't believe I didn't mention this earlier. This was a big selling point. There's even this whole upstairs area. I've never lived in a house with stairs. The cats are going to have an absolute field day. This is what I want to make into a library at some point in the future. I don't know if you can see that very well. There, that's a wider angle. Maybe that's a little bit better. I would love to put in built-in bookcases on those two walls and make this little area a library. And this is what we are afraid of slash know the cats are really going to enjoy. I think Danny and Norman are going to jump onto the fireplace, onto that ledge, and then onto that ledge. We're gonna wake up one morning and just find them 
in the highest windowsill we have. You may be thinking, I'm here for the minimalism. Why did you move into such a big house? I've always been a fan of the principle that you should let your space tell you how much it can hold. And so I think our amount of stuff has been right for the house that we've lived in for the last six years. I also have zero intention of filling this whole space. We've really wanted the space because we've been working from home for the last year and our priorities and just what we've been looking for in a house has changed. So I don't plan on filling this completely and not being mindful of my possessions, but I was looking for a lot more space and we got it. Okay, I think I'm gonna let y'all go here because I need to get back to cleaning. I need to start cleaning some of these mini surfaces that we need to clean before we can move in in a few days. But I see tons of potential here, tons of projects in my future that I hope to share with y'all so you will be hearing from me soon. Take care, bye.